a lot has been made of the fact it took the women to finally bring football home, reopening all the usual fetishization of how remarkable it is that healthy human beings with two legs are able to excel at a sport that involves kicking. It will be an inspiration, we keep hearing. But there are a few points that haven't been made, and I'm going to go there. First, forget 56 years of hurt. Try it once a month. It actually is quite a feat to drag yourself off the sofa at certain times. And yet, no screaming abdabs when those girls got fouled, despite some pretty gnarly tackles. The big girls' blouses we usually see wearing Alice bands and rolling around on the floor, grabbing various body parts as if they'd been blown into various fragments by a cluster bomb, could learn a thing or two from the lionesses. Second, thank the Lord for sports bars. Not push-up bars, not itsy-bitsy, specially designed little tennis dresses and the sort of X-rated, buttock-padded mesh outfits women are encouraged to wear at the gym so they can pout and squat for Instagram as if Derek from accounts on the treadmill behind is David Bailey, the fashion photographer. Third, hurrah for the resurrection of the tomboy. I remember the 90s when ladettes wore cargo pants and girl power was invented instead of the cult of Kardashian, where women have to literally be made on an operating table to look like a blow-up doll. But the problem with being a tomboy today is you'll probably be told you were born in the wrong body. So how long until Kevin from League Three renames himself Kira and asks to be in the Lionesses? I'll tell you how long. When the women get paid the same as the men. If you want to see a gender pay gap, football is horrific. Most players in the women's league get around 30 grand a year. Ronaldo earns that in a day. And for winning the Euros, they each get £55,000. Their male equivalents, however, a million quid each. So while it really isn't that phenomenal that a bipedal sapien in good nick can kick a ball, what really is remarkable is not how far we've come when it comes to girl power, but how far we've otherwise regressed.